Concerning last week's debate between President Biden and Donald Trump, Dodgett and Pelosi show narrative shifts as top Democrat officially calls for Biden to quit and governors hold concerning call. House Representative Lloyd Dodgett, Democrat from Texas, has become the first House Democrat to publicly urge President Biden to quit the 2024 race following last week's debate performance, which showed the Commander-in-Chief's obvious dementia on full display. Dodgett, who's been a member of the House since 1995, says he had hoped the debate against Trump would provide some momentum to sagging poll numbers, but that instead of reassuring voters, the president failed to effectively defend his many accomplishments and expose Trump's many lies. He said, my decision to make these strong reservations public is not done lightly, nor does it in any way diminish my respect for, the, for all that President Biden has achieved, said Dodgett, recognizing that, unlike Trump, President Biden's first commitment has always been to our country, not himself. I'm hopeful that he will make the painful and difficult decision to withdraw. I respectfully call on him to do so, Dodgett said. I represent the heart of the con a congressional district once represented by Lyndon Johnson, Dodgett added in a statement. Under very different circumstances, he made the painful decision to withdraw. President Biden should do the same, Dodgett said. So Dodgett's call for Biden to step out of the race comes as a new post-debate CNN poll reveals that 75% of voters think Democrats would have a better chance in November with someone else as the nominee. Meanwhile, one day after the former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Democrat California, suggested Trump is actually the candidate with dementia, she apparently clarified during a Tuesday appearance on MSNBC to suggest that Biden's cognitive decline is more of an episode than what's going on at all times, saying, I think it's a legitimate question to say, is this an episode or is this a condition? So let's compare Pelosi before and after the debate. Pelosi before the debate said, this is an opportunity for Biden to show he has the stamina. And Pelosi after the debate, is this an episode or is this a condition? Pelosi was complicit in the attempted cover-up and gaslighting, is now dis receiving her orders to drop Biden. And on top of that, as CNN Jake Tapper now reports, Democratic governors held a call Monday afternoon, just governors, no staffs, no one from campaign or White House, organized by Governor Tim Walz of Minnesota for the G DGA. On the call, Democratic governors represent, expressed concern about what's going on with the president. They know if they come forward publicly with concern that likely will cause Biden to dig in more. They were also surprised none of them had heard from him. And they were... Um, there was discussion on the call about wanting to have a call with the campaign or the White House, some discussion about having VP Vice President Kamala Harris address them. There was strong sentiment that they needed to hear directly from President Biden. They're trying to set up a meeting at the White House or via Zoom for those who can't come. Nothing is on the book yet, books yet, but the White House knows of the request. Democratic governors are not coming in with any specific message, but they feel they need to hear from President Biden. But will Jill Biden allow that? Accurate. She has the tasted power. She's tasted the power and she loves it. So this is by Zero Hedge Tyler Durden. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.